Hey guys, it's Miss Carrier. We are in the process here of completing module four for PowerPoint. And we've done a great job so far. There's lots of fun things still yet to add. Um, we're gonna go back here to the Smart Art graphic and we've already inserted this 612090. Um, one thing that I want you to do is click on that and basically just take away these empty text boxes so that that looks nice and neat there. And then it says we're gonna go over to this list of information and we are going to highlight it, right click, and we can convert that to SmartArt and it tells us to choose the Venn diagram, basic Venn. Uh, this looks super neat, it only took just a second and you've enhanced your presentation greatly. All right, from that point, it says that we're gonna move the um, blueberries to the beginning and we're gonna choose colorful range accents, colors three and four. So let's go up and change these colors to three and four. And let's click on blueberries and click move up so that it shows up at the top of that diagram. Very good. All right, and then the only thing left here is to apply the subtle effect to the continuous arrow process. Let's go over here to this arrow. Um, let's choose format. And then we drop down and this is the one here that we're looking for, the subtle effect. All right, that looks good. Let's move on. Now we're gonna to get to play around with some 3D models and media. So these are some really neat tools. Um, first, what you wanna do is go to slide four and there's no option to insert it from here. So we're gonna to go to insert and 3D models and we're gonna to go to an online source. As these 3D models are super cool and this is something that just came about in this version of Office. Um, I've never been able to teach these before. So a windmill, I'm gonna choose this one and insert it. And it says we just need to change a couple things on it. So the first thing is to change the view. So when it pops in, you're gonna be able to see all of the views up here. And we're gonna be changing it to this one, which is, there's lots of cool ways to see it. Um, but this one is the above front left. And then it says we're gonna change the height of that to four inches. And when we do, it, goes, it went ahead and changed the other um, width to 1.9. So all that looks good. And that looks great. So let's move on to the sound file. Um, the sound file is available in your OneDrive. It's actually in learning activity resources. And then there's a folder called media. So if you go up here, there's a media file, a folder all by itself. And that's where you'll find that when, when sounds we're going to use. We're going to insert that media file here on the insert tab in audio. We're going to use audio on my PC and we're going to choose when sounds. All right, so from there, um, we're gonna choose several things to enhance this sound clip. We're gonna go in and it says, first we're going to um, change it to start automatically and we're gonna hide it during the show. Um, so let's go up here and start it automatically and make sure we check to hide it during the show. And then we're gonna set the audio to stop playing after the current slide by using the animation pane and set to start playing with the previous media. So let's see if we can make that happen. Now the animation pane, um, in order to get to that, you go to animations and you click animation pane. And from there, you can actually just drop down this list. And if you click on effect options, it says already here that it'll stop playing after the current slide and it'll start playing um, from beginning. Okay, so this right here on the timing tab, it wants us to start with previous. So make sure you've changed those two things. And then lastly, it says that we are going to go in and uh, trim the audio in time to 15 seconds. So let's go in and you can see, you can hear that there. Um, we're gonna go into this sound clip. I'm gonna close this, click on the sound clip again. And right here on the playback tab, we have the option to trim it and we're gonna trim it after 15 seconds. So you've done a lot of really cool things. Um, this looks really nice when you view this PowerPoint. We're gonna go ahead and look at this from the beginning, just so that you can see how nice this looks with all the changes. Very professional. Got your wind clip in there. And you've even got this SmartArt um, 3D model as well. So lots of cool things there. I hope that you're proud of yourself for finishing this lesson and let's move on to module five. Good job guys.